video in a while. Today I'm going to share with you my five must-have travel items. These are items that I always travel with no matter how short or long the trip is. I thought I would share them with you and let's go ahead and get right into it. First item is a charging block that I purchased off Amazon. This is the VinSync. It has 20,000 um, milliamper or MAH and it is a power bank. It charges my phone, my camera, my iPod, my Fitbit. It has two charging ports here, and if you look closely, you can see that it also gives you the percentage that is left. The only drawback about this is that if you do use it all the way down, it'll take like a full day or two to charge it all the way back to 100. But it's rare that I even use all of it. It does take up a little bit of space, but I found that this is way better than the little, the smaller ones just because I don't have to worry about this running out of battery. And it's great that it's able to simultaneously charge two devices of any kind. So anything that basically has a USB uh, port or even a mini, I think a mini charger here that I use for my camera. This is a must have. If you are running uh, anywhere and you don't want to be a wall hugger, this is a perfect item to have in your bag no matter where you're going. When you're traveling, it's not really smart to carry a full-size towel just because it takes up so much space. And not only that, but they take forever to dry. This is from a company called Sunland. And this is a blue travel towel. Now, I have to admit, it doesn't feel like a regular towel would, but it does get the job done in terms of drying your skin. It kind of feels more like a ShamWow, but the great thing about this is that it folds on, on, to almost nothing, and they do give you a little pouch, um, this little zip pouch that it comes in here. I actually have two. If I'm taking a longer trip, I usually use one, let it kind of dry, and then use the other one that, while one's drying. But this is great when you're traveling because who wants to use a full size towel unless you're going to the beach of some sort. It dries quickly, it doesn't leave a nasty smell, and it doesn't take up any space in your luggage or bag. Third item that I always travel with is a packing cube. Packing cubes are a really smart way to organize your clothes or almost anything that you have. These are awesome because they actually zip and keep everything in and they also have a little window so that you can see what you packed. This is actually one of my smaller packing cubes that I would take on a smaller trip, maybe a weekend trip, or this could even, this lasted me for a week in Arizona just packing um, like workout active clothing because it doesn't take up a lot of space. So if you're taking a summer trip and you fold your clothes neatly, um, as you can see here, this is, I have like five shirts rolled up in here, but I could easily fit more things in here. And if I'm taking a short trip, I usually just put this in my backpack and go. And the good thing about packing cubes is it keeps all your clothes organized. So if you're ever going anywhere, when you open your bag, you don't have all your stuff falling out. This one I purchased off Amazon. This is actually one of, I believe, five different cubes. It also comes with four other sizes. This is the bigger cube here. It's way, this is huge. And then it also comes with two uh, medium sized, medium sized packing cubes. So these are the medium sized ones. And so you get quite a bit. Uh, you get five packing cubes and they're all for different sizes. I've used them as I'm packing my life away to move abroad for a year and it worked very nicely. And it just keeps everything really nice and neat. My next item is actually underwear, travel underwear. I'm sorry, I've worn this a lot so it's not brand new, but this is just a black pair of Icebreaker Merino wool underwear. And the great thing about this is that it's actually made out of merino wool fibers and that's a type of sheep that is found in New Zealand. The thing about this is that it dries very quickly. So when you're traveling and you don't want to bring a ton of underwear, you could just wear one or two of these or alternate between the two and just wash them in the sink. So as I'm taking a shower, I usually hand wash these and I hang it up to dry and by the next morning, maybe six to eight hours later, it's dry. So that prevents me from having to carry a week's worth of underwear or a month's worth of underwear wherever I'm going. And, and not only that, but it wicks moisture. There's, it doesn't, um, it doesn't smell if you've worn it forever. I've actually worn this for over 36 hours once when I wasn't able to shower and I didn't smell a thing. 
and it's just nice. The only thing that I wish they had different cuts, but this is just a regular bikini cut. Um, it's thick enough here and the band doesn't roll. It's just black. They don't have a lot of colors, but um, I, this is my favorite underwear. And it is kind of expensive, it's $30, but you only need like one or two because when you wear one and then you wash the other, by the time the other one dries, you can just switch back and forth. So I highly recommend travel underwear or this active underwear for hiking or if you're traveling, you don't wanna carry a lot of underwear and it's just good undergarment. My last item is a very strange item. It's just for women or people who menstruate. It's kind of strange I'm getting into this, but people have talked about this on YouTube. It is the Diva Cup. It's kind of strange at first, but I, it took me maybe like a few months just to get used to using it. Once you do get used to using this, you can't even feel it. And it's just so much better than pads or tampons because I feel like it's cleaner just because I don't have to constantly change out anything throughout the day. I really only change this out maybe once or twice a day. And that's maybe at morning, in the morning and at night when I'm showering. And basically all you do is you just fold this up somehow and kind of stick it into your women parts, your insides, and it just unfolds like this. For those of you that haven't tried it, Definitely take the leap because it has changed my life. I almost feel like I'm not on my period when I am, which is great. So, and also that, but it prevents you from having to purchase feminine products because this is maybe 30, 40 bucks and that's it. It lasts you for a year or two before you have to replace. And you can just clean it by boiling it in water or using a gentle mild soap. It comes in a little pouch, so it saves me from carrying a whole bunch of lady diapers or tampons. And it just, it's awesome. It just makes you feel like you're not on your period. Hey, those are my five travel items. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I know some of these things are a little weird, but it's just things I personally must have with me as I'm traveling. I would love to hear your must have travel items and any other products that you love and just always have to have with you wherever you go. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, please thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and look out for more videos. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.